What's up everyone? Welcome back to ARTV. My name is John and it's time for a review of the debut album by the indie pop and alternative band Half Alive. It's titled Now, Not Yet. Half Alive were formed in 2016 after lead vocalist and guitarist Josh Taylor took on a songwriting project where he tried to write a ton of different songs, expand his palette, and I would say that he succeeded in doing so. In that process, he came up with some of the tracks that we're now hearing on this debut album. They put out several successful singles, including a three EP, which they caught some flack for early on because it sounded oddly similar to the band 21 Pilots, at least in places. I think it was most notable on the track Tiptoes, and it's obvious why people drew those comparisons, although I do think they've kind of evolved past that. I was convinced the band had made a distinct enough departure when Still Feel was dropped as a single, and then the music video exploded, gathering over 24 million views on YouTube and counting. Choreography has kind of become their thing, along with like the syncopated dance moves, and I'm more than okay with that. In fact, I think it's kind of cool. Now Not Yet can easily get embedded in your head due to the fact that it does have some fiery hooks, but it's also kind of intentionally reserved in other manners. It kind of sounds like elevator music in the sense that it's like boxed in and contained, but they recorded this across several different Airbnbs that they were staying in and they had noise limitations. So it's nice that they did put the limitations intentionally and they challenged themselves to expand the sound with not always getting too loud. I quite like the mixing on the album and the way that it was produced Produced, although at times it doesn't do enough to make them stand out or feel unique. Lush sounding guitar progressions combined with lively synthesizers, tame but well structured drumming, and Josh's calming voice all make this album a win in many mannerisms. It's just that at times it spaces out a bit and loses me. It's worth noting that the core trio are all men of faith, Christians to be specific. They don't completely shy away from specifics as the final song Creatures directly mentions Jesus Christ, but it doesn't feel like anything's necessarily being shoved down our throats. More of a, hey, this is something that is working and is a positive light in my life, and if you want to hear about that too, then cool. The super pristine sound of this album can come across as both a positive and a negative, because it can be a detractor in the sense that it sounds like you're listening to a crystal clear, non-offensive Urban Outfitters background song, and then other times it can be a perfectly good mix that's really just hitting you with catchiness, but you could also appreciate the fact that it's so cleaned up, everything is fine-tuned, but it still sounds like a good band that's ready to chomp down on something. Josh Taylor's vocal performances can also go both ways, because his singing is much better than his rapping or spoken word, whatever he's doing during those certain passages that pop up, those moments are easily skippable for me. I'm usually not a fan of features on a debut album simply because I believe that's where an artist should showcase their talents, their specific skill set, why we should be listening to them and not the rest of the pack, but I can respect that Kimbra and Sam Henshaw, the two featured artists here, were both artists that the band were fans of for quite some time. They were inspirations to them, so it's not something that the label just shoehorned in. Honestly, the biggest word that I have with their debut album is the fact that some of the vocal patterns and some of the songs as a whole sometimes easily blend together and become a little bit uninteresting as they go on, although some of them do work into things that become a lot more interesting in their second half. It's just that at times I can really see exactly where the song is headed and it's just a little bit too predictable. Let's start by talking about the track Arrow, which is simply fantastic. The percussion and post-chorus instrumental break reminds me a lot of the band Mute Math. It's got an extremely catchy, feel-good type vibe with a double meaning packed in, so I guess it could definitely go either way, whether it's talking about the arrow in your heart being you're in love or obviously, oh no, I'm bleeding out and something bad is happening, what do I do? OK OK features some eye-opening realizations from Josh Taylor as he talks about being catapulted 
into the limelight in front of millions of people after Still Feel blew up. That's a lot of pressure. I really do like the drumming on this track. It opens up with kind of a chaotic sound and you're like, okay, am I about to go into a garage rock type track? And then it kind of dives back off before breaking the drums and the loud strikes of the guitar back in later in the song. It has a nice final stage and I love how everything comes full circle. With the song Trust, I can't help but make the 21 Pilots comparison again because the Tyler Joseph style vocals really jumped out to me. Although this is one of the best messages that they pack in on the entire album now not yet because I love that trust is something that's discussed. I mean trust is such a hard thing to come by. It's talked about by many but it's also something that you probably don't have with too many people in your life. This album sadly gets a lot more forgettable after Arrow. I think pure gold can get slightly irritating especially after repeated listens although it's still not a bad song at all. I don't really care for the features on the album, although the features aren't necessarily the problem. It's just that with Ice Cold, I like the fact that it sure has positivity, I suppose. But also, Josh on this track vocally is not engaged, I don't feel like. Kembra outshines him easily on the tune, and it feels like something that could have been more suited to one of her studio albums. And then the Sam Henshaw feature on Rest, it's fine, but again, Josh and the band just don't feel inspired here, and the music feels drab and flat. Why not close out by talking about the fantastic closing moment, Creature? It's a strong affirmation of faith. We get to see specific uses of God, Jesus Christ, talking about being molded into the creature that he wants to be or else needs to be. Earlier in the record, we did get that interlude track, Notion, which talked about the fact that somebody was a believer and they were young. And I know that this message isn't going to be for everyone. Some people might be turned off to it, but maybe don't let that be a detractor. Give it a chance because as a Christian myself, I get very jaded with Christian music because most of it is downright terrible. But this is kind of an inspiring moment and I love the music here. It just has kind of a soaring feeling to it and it's a great way to end this album. Now Not Yet is often musically intoxicating, although other parts of it do fall into a rut and get a little bit forgettable. It's unfortunate, but I wouldn't say that I'm let down by this album because there's plenty of great songs on here that I'll continue to listen to. I'm rating this one a 3.5 out of 5. I would love to know what you guys think of Half Alive's debut album. I know a lot of you have been highly anticipating this and awaiting my review, so if you enjoyed the review today, then please drop a like on it, and if you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel for the love of music. It's all just my opinion at the end of the day, so don't forget to leave yours tastefully and respectfully in the comments section down below. If you would like to see a 21 Pilots review, then tap right here, or tap here for another recent review on the channel. All of my social media accounts, including my Patreon, my Instagram, my Twitter, everything like that, can be found packed into the description down below, and other than that, I'll see you soon for more right here on ARTV.